your fellow YouTube viewers, Belch94, another YouTube video. And today, we're going to be having a look at installing Mac OS on the mid-2011 MacBook Pro. Here it is, here's the first look. I got this the other day. The only issue is I, the mouse, the mouse, the track point works, but um, I'm going to load it just a little. Let's see, how that? There we go. So I've got a USB with 10.6. It came in sort of 10.5, but it has the user's account details and password, so that's no good to me. So we're going to do a fresh install of 10.6 anyway, because I think it's a better system. I'm going to put 10. Point, it can run up to 10.7.5, but it needs a RAM upgrade. It needs at least two gigs of RAM for it to do that. So what we're going to do is I've got it onto a USB drive. Let's see if it'll boot. It'll recognise it. So I'm going to power it on, and this computer does work. I tested it the other day. I'll hold down the option key to bring up the boot menu. And, oh, it might help to plug it in, hold on. The battery is dead on this machine. Yeah, it's not plugged in. Ugh. There we go. It's booting up now. Let's see if we can get the option menu. Let's see if anything else. We've got the Mac HD. So it's not detecting the USB. Damn, this is not good. Uh, this was booting to, to Leopard. Let's see if it'll run the install off from Leopard and see if I can actually do a fresh install. Find out, eh? Booting into Leopard. I was going to be out cutting the grass today, but because of the wet, starting to rain, I was like, ah, so I had the lawnmower out and it's starting to rain. Yep, so the track card does not work. I'll demonstrate. There's my Wi Fi network. You can't click anything with it. So we'll close this, cancel this. The clock will set, we'll fix the. I'll open up that. I won't worry about that. That is it. And that hasn't worked. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to come back. I'm going to try and copy the uh, the, the, the DMG file over to the system. Hold on, I might be able to access If I connect to the... What I'll do is I'm going to connect to my server Let's, and I'll bring this, the, the files over. We're back soon. Hello guys, I'm back. I'm just here with the, the system and I have managed to configure it, change the passwords. I had to do a lot of diddly diddling around on the system, but I did manage to change it and I created a soft profile. But I'm going to do, try to do an upgrade to Snow Leopard. So I put the installation that I downloaded onto the USB and I'm going to try it from here. So I'm just going to mount it. As you can see here, it's just verifying. Shouldn't take too long. The battery is completely dead in this machine, so yeah. so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to stop the video. I'll play it again once we get if a screen shows up or not. Then we're back, so we're going to click, we're going to click double click install. Okay, our first problem. Burn it to a DVD. Okay, we'll try that. So we've got a split. What we are doing on this machine. So we're gonna want. I'm gonna stop the video and I'll see if I can get the, get it onto the install. I'll be back. So I am on the disk utility on the um. 
MacBook and it is creating at your speed for 10.6 Snow Leopard. So at this stage, it's got 19 minutes. I'm going to probably get in the bed in a sec. So I'll find out in the morning if this machine works, if it's worked. Then we'll try and build off the USB and try to install this machine to 10.6 Snow Leopard. Oh, uh, okay. Hello guys, I'm back. So I finally got a Mac OS 10.6 install to work off a USB drive, which we're going to boot. So I'm going to correct the install. So we're going to install. Click, click. I'm going to go into utilities first. I want to wipe the drive. Uh, oh, no, I don't want to select all of them on that one. Go to erase. No. I'll call it. Okay. Okay, this computer's very. Oh, oh, sorry. Maybe you can still see. Oh, I don't know what this computer is doing. Down the track, I'm going to probably put upgrade the RAM to 4 gig and put an SSD in it and then reinstall this again. But for now, we'll just do this. Down the track, I'm going to. Oh no. I don't know if put the camera wonky. That'll do. So we'll go erase, and we'll go erase. You see here it's 1080 gig drive. It's a SATA drive, I'm pretty sure. And it's just creating a partition map. Just this, so look. And we're done. We'll close that. We'll go continue. We'll go agree. And we're going to select this drive. Oh, it's on journal. I've, I've stuffed it up. Go again to dish utility. I didn't format it right. Oh, that's what he's doing. Macintosh HD, and we'll go on a race. We'll oh, uh, a race. Go for take two, eh? Hey? Okay. And we're done. Let's hopefully this will work. There we go. That's better. I formatted it wrong. Go install. Oh, I'm installing everything. Oh well. Should have went customized, but that's alright. Anyway, I just, I'll probably put an SSD in this eventually. Anyway, so not a huge deal, but. This is going to be take 30 minutes, I reckon. So, what I'm going to do is I'll speed this part of the video up. <laughs>
And also, it's on the install first boot. Insulation music with no sound. Here we go. Wish Max would do this with the Apple uh, uh, updates. They seem very boring these days. I think this is the best part of the setup is this. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop the video, I'll do the setup, and then we'll come back and have a look at it when we get the desktop, eh? Hard disk. So I was just watching some drug one while I was working on this, waiting for it to... So look at so it's updated, we've got the App Store. For Mac. So that's... That's the Mac App Store, which will close. I don't need it. Uh, but yeah, so it is running 10.68. And down the other track with this machine, we'll, I will I'll look at upgrading the RAM. I believe 4 gig is the, the, the most it can do with, um, with the max it could have. And I might put a SSD in it, I'll put 10.6. And we might look at maybe doing a Linux distro on it or even. Um, maybe Windows 7 or something on it. Um, who knows? But, but yeah, so but because it it's got 10.6, it can run PowerPC apps. So we can put some PowerPC apps and stuff like that on it. Um, yeah, so yeah, it'd be good. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye for now, and I'll see you in the next video.